So today's video is going to be the finale to my winter project used up, which I've had going since December. So I have a lot of progress on things. I actually only finished one thing since the last time I updated you guys in February. Um, so yeah, I have one empty to show you guys. And then I'll show you the progress that I've made since the last update. And I will just recap the entire project, what I finished up. I will say, if you notice, we are in a new location, same decor, same like bedroom set, but I did actually move from my apartment to a house. I did actually live in a three-story townhome, and then my partner, Ryan, and I decided to move to an apartment, and then we decided we didn't like apartments, so we moved back to a townhome. So that's where we're at now. It's a three-bedroom townhome. I do plan on doing like a little tour in the next vlog to show you guys, but this video was a priority, so this is going to go up first. But yeah, our bedroom is a lot bigger. Um, I do need to get a little bit more or different type of uh, art on the walls because I put these up on, uh, above the lamps and this whole space is like missing something. So let me know if you have an idea of what I should put here. I'm thinking like maybe a really big long mirror or something to that effect. So we'll see what I can come up with, but that's a later on thing. For now, I'm just happy to be moved in and I have some really good lighting here. I hope you enjoy this. I wasn't able to find an outlet to plug in the ring light that I have in front of me. So I'm hoping natural light is enough, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the only empty that I did finish in the last month is my Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy little mini perfume. I think this is called a Coffrette and I love this stuff. It's so good. I can't wait to get a full size. I'll probably ask for some full size Ariana Grande perfumes for my birthday, which isn't until August, so I have plenty of time. But yeah, really happy to have finished this off. I've been trying to finish it for years. I think I've had it since like 2018. So yeah, this one has been needing to be used up. Next for some updates, I do have my little whatever's left of my vanilla shower routine. So I have the Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla perfume going and I am almost finished with it. It has like a few more uses. So I guess you could consider this also an empty. I'll probably finish it up tomorrow or the next day. So that's another empty. I'll just go ahead and count it now, I guess. Um, and then whatever's left is just a shower gel and a moisturizer. So we've got the Vanilla Mocha Cream Shower Gel and I got a ton of progress on this in the last month from here to here, which I think is pretty good. I love this scent. It's nice just for year round, any time of day. It's just a really nice cozy scent. And then Ryan has been using Jolly Gingerbread Village as his body lotion of choice, and he's gotten a little bit of progress. He doesn't use lotion often, but he is very active and he runs a lot. So sometimes when he gets home and he takes a shower, it like strips his skin of all of his moisture and he has to like put it back in. He feels really itchy and stuff. So yeah, he's been using this one and I guess he'll continue to use it. We'll see. I'll let him maybe sniff some other stuff or maybe I'll just get him like a basic Jergens body lotion if he doesn't like this one. So that's those two. And then we have my iced sugar plum routine, which I honestly loved for this entire time. I've been using it for like four months. It's been really nice. So I love the scent. The only bad thing about it is that the mist is super not long lasting. It doesn't last at all. So I've actually been using it more of like a room spray than a body spray, but I did get good progress on it. So we actually went from here to here and I've only got about this much left of it. So I think I am gonna just put this in the spring project. Same with the shower gel. I'm so close to finishing it. I might as well just leave it in and I'm loving it. So I got this much progress in the last month and I've got this much left. So I think I'm doing pretty good with this one and I love this scent. It's so nice. It's sparkling sugar plum, snowdrop petals and whipped marshmallow. It's just like a nice sweet fruity scent and I'm loving it. The next scent party that we had going was my life of the party. Um, combo. I don't even know what to call this anymore. And Life of the Party is pretty much almost finished. So I had the shower gel in. This is pink citrus, bubbly prosecco, jasmine, and shimmering vanilla. This was awesome. I loved this scent. As you can see, I got a ton of progress from here to here, and I'm pretty much finished. Almost done with it. I really loved the scent. It's like nice and sophisticated and yeah, it was just one of my favorites over the last month. It's been so good. And then to pair with it, I've had this Twilight Woods lotion in, which I've been going crazy on using, you guys. We introed it last month right up here, and now I'm all the way down here. I'm, I'm going to be finished with it in a few weeks, so I definitely think I'm going to put it in the spring project. Um, I really like this scent. I will say it is probably nearing expiration because it is pretty liquidy. Usually lotions won't, they won't do that. They won't run, run like that. 
so easily. So yeah, I think it's nearing expiration, so I just wanted to finish it up quickly. But the notes are Lush Berry, Sparkling Mandarin, and Soft Mimosa with Apricot Nectar and Cypress Wood. I don't even know how to describe this. It's like a slightly floral fruity scent. It's really nice. It's super simple, very basic, but honestly really good. I would consider getting like every formula of this one next time I see it. It, it, it only comes out, I think, at SAS. I've only seen it at um, my local outlet. So yeah, I don't know. This one is kind of hard to find, but I'm loving it and definitely going to be rid of it soon. And then we have my Twinkling Nights, which I did say, I think I said I was going to take this out of the project the last month, but I actually use it a few times. I have the teeniest bit of progress. You can't really even count that. So there's Twinkling Nights. I honestly have not left my house since uh, my vacation in, in mid-February or beginning of February. <laughs> I haven't left my house. Well, obviously I moved. Um, but yeah, I've just been like trying to save money and not spend on things that I don't need, like shopping, body care, TJ Maxx runs. Like I've just try been trying to really cut out like everything, which is going to be really hard going into this new home because I just want to decorate it. Um, but I'm convinced I can use what I already have from our first house and just kind of re reuse it here. So anyways, okay. The last thing in that little set was Everlasting Magic. Now this one is also almost done. Um, we went from right about here to down here. As you can tell, it's pretty much squeezed out. I'm going to have to like cut it open soon to get the rest of it out. But this is Bejeweled Berries, Phantom Petals, and Magic Musk. This one, I think I've already said this, it reminds me of Pink Velvet Cupcake. That's like definitely what it smells like. And it's just a super fruity scent. So not fall like whatsoever. I'm really loving it for spring and I'm probably going to be finished with it soon. I don't even know if I need to put this in a project because it's already almost finished. And the last two items remaining from my little peppermint bark uh, scent combo. This is coconut mint drop. I did get a little bit of progress from here to here on the bottle. I have this in my office. Yeah, in my office. And I said I was going to try and make a new habit out of spraying this every time I sit down at my desk. But honestly, my desk doesn't have enough room to sit this on top of it. So it's kind of just cumbersome and got in the way. So I just didn't use it. So that's a shame, but it's fine. And then we have the Dove Holiday Treats Peppermint Bark Body Scrub. This stuff is really good. I like the scent, but I don't know. I'm not into peppermint bark anymore. I'm pretty close to being done, so I should probably just like stick it out and finish this. Um, I think it started at fully unused in January, and we are down to here. So I'm pretty much almost done. I think I'll just try and finish this off on the side, not really put it in any projects, but just try to finish it because I'm there's no point in saving like that little bit just for December. So yeah, that's this one. And that's it for my update or my finale, I should say, of my winter project use it up. I do have the other empties. Well, you can't see them, but they're behind me on the bed. So let's take a little closer look at what I did finish in the winter project use it up. So here we have it. The eight products that I'm considering finished for the project use it up from winter, which spanned three months, December, January, and February, and let's get into it. So as you saw, I did finish up these two mini perfumes. I finished up Cinnamon Dulce Shea Sugar Scrub from Tree Hut. This is so yummy. I'm gonna go ahead and just include the Life of the Party Shower Gel since it's pretty much almost done. My Iced Sugar Plum Body Lotion. I finished two body creams, one in pink chiffon, and I'm just gonna consider Everlasting Magic finished because let's be honest, it pretty much is. And then this was probably, I think these two were tied for my favorites from the project. Um, the Fenty Skin Butter Drop in Warm Cinnamon Shimmering uh, Whipped Oil Body Cream. Yeah, this stuff was shimmering. It was beautiful. The scent was magnificent. It smelled just like sugar cookies. It was super moisturizing. And yeah, I'm super happy with this one. So those are the eight products that I finished up in the Winter Project Use It Up. So thank you guys so, so much for watching that. Don't forget my spring project use it up will be out next. So I hope that you are ready for that. But thank you so, so much for watching and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.